Hi guys. Okay, so last week I did like a questionnaire and asked, you guys asked me like a bunch of questions and unfortunately I didn't get to answer them all, but I'm gonna answer some of them here. So let's see, just gotta find it. I screenshot them. Okay, how do you afford the perfect life? Um, okay, so my life is far from perfect. Um, definitely Instagram is not real life. Um, I, just like everyone else, like, you know, go through like depression, anxiety. Um, honestly, like even moving here to West Palm Beach has been like really hard for me. Um, I've been like really homesick. Um, I miss Minnesota at times. It's hard to like make friends, um, but I guess like to help myself like I'm trying to like, go to the gym more. I don't work out that often, but I went to a bar class today and it kicked my ass. Literally, I feel like I'm gonna be like jello tomorrow, but honestly, I feel like really good, but um, my life is far from perfect and I'm just like everyone else. Okay, favorite restaurant in the Twin Cities? Um, Billy Sushi. It is so good. I go there every time I'm back in Minnesota, like at least once, sometimes twice. Um, he also just started this new like Billy After Dark, um, which is really cool. And they have like different drinks downstairs and like it's super like exclusive. So it's like hard to get in, but if you get in, it is so much fun. So much, I love it. Favorite lingerie. Um, I do like Gooseberry a lot. Um, I, that's like always been like my favorite, like since I like started modeling. Um, and then also like, I do like lounge as well. How much do you love Miami? I don't really love Miami. Um, I went there for Halloween. Um, we were back in a car by 12.30 coming home. So yeah, I don't know. Like I'm just not like into that like huge like scene. Um, and I feel like Miami's a little bit crazy, which is why I like Palm Beach because it's more like relaxed. Um, not so much of that like crazy nightlife, but Palm Beach definitely does have a nightlife as well, which I was not aware of, but it's fun. Um, any interest in ever moving back to snowy Minnesota? Um, probably not. Um, I think like I would want to have like a house there, like with my family's there. I mean, Minnesota will always like have my heart as home. Um, but I do miss fall. I miss winter. Like Florida is just so hot here. It's like 90 degrees still. Um, but I do go home a lot and I'm excited for Christmas. Um, going home on December and then I'm going home for Thanksgiving. So really excited to go, go back to Minnesota. Where were you during Hurricane Ian? I was in Puerto Rico, um, which is funny story is Puerto Rico actually just had a hurricane right before I went there. And uh, one of my friends actually like ditched in on the last minute because the hurricanes were like bad and she was like worried about it and I get it. Um, but I still went, you know, um, cause we were having a hurricane here and I'm like, I don't want to be here. Um, so I was in Puerto Rico. Um, it was so much fun. Hurricane, um, in San Juan, the hurricane did not affect San Juan at all. Like it was beautiful. And like, even the hotels were like saying like, they're like, yeah, it's hard because like people like don't want to come here cause they think the islands like no destroy but i mean definitely there are parts of the island that i'm sure were destroyed um but it did not affect where i was at and i could have had like a better time and better better weather when i was there what is your summer plans um i'm probably gonna come back to minnesota for the summer i mean i will still have this apartment here um but i'm thinking of doing like swim week in miami i've never done it before um you know i don't know if i'm even gonna like get accepted or invited or to walk the runaway but it'd be fun to like just try it for once um, because also like it's the rainy season here. Um, so I was here end of July, August, and it rained literally every single day. And that's finally just like starting to get like nice out. Um, so I probably will spend most of my summer in Minnesota, but that could change unless I like absolutely like fall in love with this place. I might stay here, but right now, um, my plan is to go home for the summer and then maybe like do a couple like traveling. Like I'd like to go to Europe. Um, I've only been to Ibiza and London before. So I'm definitely like want to try like Italy, um, more of like Spain, all those like fun places, France, Paris. I've never been. Um, if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. Um, but yeah. Okay. 
how are you enjoying Palm Beach? All good, I hope. Um, so it kind of goes to my last question. Um, I do like Palm Beach, so, like Palm Beach so far. Um, sorry guys, I'm like dyslexic and I get nervous like talking in front of the camera. <laughs> so just bear with me. I'm working on it. Um, um, but I do, I do like Palm Beach. I love the like the atmosphere here. It's really pretty. Um, it's really good for like creating content. Like I go to like Worth Avenue, even my apartment complex. There's so much like around me that I can shoot at, which is like really nice. Um, so I do like Palm Beach, but I think eventually like I might move more towards like Fort Lauderdale. It's a little bit bigger. Palm Beach is actually really small, like really small. I didn't know it was like that can be that small. Um, so I'm like, I do like it, but like I said, it's like kind of like hard to make friends here and I don't know. I just kind of want more, like, it's just kind of far from like Fort Lauderdale. It's like 45 minutes to Fort Lauderdale and like an hour and a half to Miami, which I don't go to Miami that often, but like, it's just nice to be like more like center located, I guess. Because like, if I do have to go there for like a job or something, it's like a four hour drive total between there and back with traffic. It's insane. Whoever said Miami does not have traffic like LA lie. It is 10 times worse. Seriously. <laughs> Who takes your photos? I have a tripod. Um, yes, it is my boyfriend. I love my tripod. I don't have a name for him yet, but I should name him. Um, but he comes with me everywhere I go. Um, right now I'm using my tripod. Um, but also like sometimes like I have friends take pictures like at restaurants and then also um, my sister also do a lot of my pictures too so yeah do you get recognized a lot in public um, at times I do it's like at really random places like at Lollapalooza some guy came up to me and was like are you Morgan Katz and I'm like wow I'm like all like I'm not even from Chicago or anything but that was kind of cool and then um, in Minnesota like here and there um but not like I don't have them feel come to me and be like oh my god are you Morgan or stuff like that but I'm not that much a celebrity but but yeah once in a while I do get people who like know who I am okay what was your dream job as a kid I wanted to be a vet um I love animals they are my favorite I have like uh three horses one's a miniature horse a donkey um like I have like nine goats and we have some chickens and then we have um, a dog and then one cat and I do miss my dog a lot. Hopefully someday I can get a new one out here. But as of right now, like with traveling, it's just too hard. But I still, someday still maybe want to go to be in a vet. I love animals. I'm thinking about like volunteering at like a humane society or something. But I feel like it'd be so hard because I'm like, I would probably end up like taking all these dogs home with me. So it might be dangerous, but... Um, I think I'm like definitely looking like into volunteering somewhere with animals. Favorite thing about the Minnesota State Fair? Um, the mini donut beer. It is so good. Like you wouldn't think it was so good, but it's like amazing. Um, I love mini donut beer. Also, we have really good cheese curds. Um, it's, it's that's a hard one though. Like I love, I love the Minnesota State Fair. Like I no matter where I'm in the world, I will make sure I am back for those like 12 days of the fair. I go like six times and I'm crazy. Um, I gain probably like 10 pounds, um, play games, um, go to concerts. Um, if you guys haven't been to the state fair, it is definitely one that you should think about going to see. Um, so it's like, it's not as big as Texas state fair, but it actually has more like attendance and I've been to both. Um, and I, I'm not going to be biased, but like, Minnesota was, it was way better. It was more fun, more people. Like just, I love it. Um, do you miss your dog? Yes, I do miss my dog. Um, but I'm excited to see her for Thanksgiving. I'm going home, um, like November 19th. So I'm very excited to see her. Will you ever get tired of your lifestyle? Um, it is tiring at times. Um, I guess like I'm going to be 30 next year. I know I'm old. Um, I'm not like really into like the going out stuff anymore. Like when I was like 21 in LA, like I was like, oh, let's go to clubs, like, you know, bars and everything else. And like now I'm kind of like growing out of that stage where I'm like, I want to like, you know, focus more and just like, you know, working out, like, um, being healthy, um, traveling a little bit more, I guess just, yeah, it's a, like a tough one. It's like, I mean, my job also causes like a lot of stress at times too like it's just hard like living out a suitcase and um 
but as of now I do like I mean I'm not planning on quitting modeling anytime soon um but I do have a degree um a PR degree so if it ever does fail and I don't do anymore um I do have something to fall back on which is really nice will you return to Los Angeles no <laughs> um I was in LA for like five years and um, I lived everywhere I lived in um Bever not Beverly Hills yeah I did live in Beverly Hills Beverly Hills Culver City, Maria Del Rey, Hollywood. Um, I did, I did love LA, but after COVID, it's just not the same anymore. Um, the crime is really bad. Like I didn't feel safe, like walking outside my apartment at times. Um, and it was never like that before. And like, um, it's just gotten like really like kind of dirty and just, it's just not, it's not LA anymore. Um, so it will always have a special place in my heart but definitely don't think I'm ever going to move there, but definitely will visit. I have so many friends there, um, so I'm excited to like, go back and visit, but as of now, um, I think I am not gonna go back to LA ever again to move permanently. Do you usually fly first business or coach? I fly all classes, you guys. Um, sometimes I fly business, sometimes I fly spirit. Um, like tomorrow I'm going to Scottsdale, and I am flying Frontier and a crazy story about Frontier. So my flight was probably like 45 bucks and I was gonna like get like a, like a carry-on or a check bag, $65 for a carry-on. Like this costed more than my flight. Um, so that's a little bit crazy to me, um, but I don't, I prefer not to fly Spirit or Frontier, um, but sometimes it just like makes sense. And then also too, like when I fly out of Palm Beach, um, it's either Delta, but then also like we have like really like, so Delta right has like a layover in Atlanta and um, there's Sun Country and Allegiant, which are like kind of similar to Spirit. Um, Sun Country is a little bit nicer, but those are nonstop flights, which is really nice. Otherwise I'd be like driving to Fort Lauderdale, it's just really far. So I do fly all classes. Um, my favorite, I think, though, is um, Dubai. When I came back from Dubai, um, I flew business. And that was the nicest airplane I have ever been on. Like, it was so nice. Like, they literally had, like, dessert wine, caviar. Like, oh, my God. Like, it was so nice. Like, that flight, it was, like, an 18-hour flight. That flight flew by so fast. Um, so I'm glad. But I also, on the, on the way there, I did fly... Um, main cabin and I got lucky because my row was completely empty so I had the whole row to myself so I could like lay out um but on the way home the flight was packed and I'm very grateful that I was able to experience um business on Emirates. Have you gone to Publix yet or do you not shop there? I do go to Publix. R really weird thing about this. Um the Publix is here at least the ones I've been to here do not have like the car corrals. Like I'm like what am I supposed to do with my car? Like Walk, like I have a thing of groceries like I've never seen that before um but I mean I like Publix but I also like the Minnesota Club better and stuff um but yes I do shop at, at Publix it's like the main grocery store here um I just saw the brunette look very attractive what is your natural what is your natural hair color um my natural color is brunette you can kind of see the roots coming through um I decided to go blonde a couple years ago, I feel like it's like maybe four years ago now. And then I like kind of let it grow and like went back to brunette. And then um, like about two years ago again, I decided to go back to blonde. And I do like blonde hair, but one thing I do miss about brunette hair is um, it's easy. Like I can't like go swimming with this hair because I don't want to turn green. Um, Cause it's expensive to dye your hair and my hair is already like kind of fried. So that does suck, but I do like the blonde look overall. How did you and Jenna meet? Oh my God, funny story about that one. Okay, so we both like live like five minutes from each other and we had no idea, like just on Instagram randomly, like we like followed each other and just started like messaging. And then I saw her at one of the Maxim parties like during the Super Bowl when it was in Minnesota. And then from there on, like we just hung out and now we're like best friends and I love her to death. She was just here um, a week ago for my birthday. It was so nice to have her, um, love showing her around. She is an angel. You travel a lot, where do you still want to go? Um, like I said earlier, I wanna to go to Ibiza, not Ibiza, I'm sorry guys, I'm 
I've been to Ibiza, um, but I want to go to Maldives. Um, that's like one of my like biggest destinations. And then also like I feel like Thailand would be kind of cool, or I don't know, just like I guess like in Europe. And then Anguilla, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. I'm so bad at pronouncing things. Like I can't even speak the way it is. Um, so just like I said, don't mind my like mispronunciation or my mumbles because I am not a public speaker. <laughs> I hate talking in front of the camera, but I am working on it. What is your annual income? Um, okay, so that's like kind of like a tough one to answer because it kind of like varies like from year to year and month to month. Um, like my job's not like one month you can make like 20,000, next month you make like 1,000. Like that's just how the career is or my career is at least. Um, but I guess like for our ballpark estimate, like I can get anywhere between like three to five K for posts, but it is a fun career. Um, but it is a lot of work. I work really hard, um, like eight hours a day, you know, either creating content, editing stuff. Like, you know, like I want to make sure like I'm like staying up with the trends and like TikTok has been really hard for me. I, like I said, I hate videos, um, but I'm working on it. And then I also just started the YouTube channel, which for you guys, which I'm filming this right now. And. Um, I think for like YouTube, I might go more into like food, like eating, like mukbangs and stuff. Um, cause it's just, I love food. Like I love baking, I love cooking, I love food. And that is all the questions that I have on my phone. Um, it was so nice talking to you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm so bad at any of these conversations. I'm like, what do I say next? But thank you guys for watching. Um, look forward to creating more videos and taking you guys with me on my journey.